I think because the constellation, we have to keep learning anyway from yeah. others, you know, from ourselves anyway. So it's okay. Okay, perfect. So uh, yeah. let me let me use uh, here the the board. Here we have well the principles of the structural constellations, transverbal language, yeah. and schemes. Okay. So. Uh, what uh, Matthias and Insa say that this is a transverbal language. Mm. Why? Because uh, we use the, the language, but also we use space, the space of the different uh, elements and uh, we have to to know that the for the word structure mm. is very important because we mm. have to know that uh, structure is the way that the elements are related between each other so our interventions are in the structure so we move, we change the way the elements are related between them. And if we change the structure, the reality can change too. Okay? So the person has a topic or an issue. Uh -huh. And also uh, they, they have uh, something that uh, they ask as a goal, yeah? Okay, then we need a contract with the client. Later, I will explain deeply these three concepts, okay? So, transverbal language is because we speak, okay? We move. We have movements, so we have space, we have angles between the elements. So when the person says, okay, for example, uh, what is your topic? I will say something very common, no? Um, well, uh, I feel that I am very fat. Okay, that's the topic. So if this constellation uh, where uh, success, what could be a good result for you, okay? That's the goal, okay? That's something that he is asking, okay? Then we need a contract because the client will not be, will, the client is not going to go out uh, thinner to, to, the, to the session, to the constellation, to the coaching uh, session, okay? So uh, he'll, he will not have uh, 20 kilograms less than he arrived, okay? It's impossible, okay? That's why we need a contract. And we need to make another question, okay? Is in the very moment when the constellation or the session finished, how would you realize that it, that it was useful for you? Okay? That's why it's well, very... That's right. Yes. It's very important to difference the goal or and the contract because the contract is that it is really possible that could happen uh, while the session is 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 uh, happening. Yes. Mm. Okay. For example, uh, what is uh, what is your topic? Well, uh, I would like to be an engineer. Okay. Uh, and the goal is to be an engineer. And mm. How would you realize at the very moment when the constellation finished that it, that it was uh, useful for you? Ah, because now I have the courage to study and to look for another university to study it. Okay? That's why uh, here in the contract, we uh, uh, um, close the expectations that the client has from, from the session. Okay? okay? Because he, maybe he has a very big... Uh, on magic um, expectations and maybe the expect expectations uh, we need to realize and to put the foot in the floor okay that's why uh, now we are ready
to make a constellation uh, with objects, with uh, tools, with uh, um, toys, with people, with chairs, no? Um, because working with chairs is also a very good tool um, to make uh, some simulations as constellations mm. with, uh, with clients. That's why transverbal language uses the space, the structure, because the way that uh, the client puts each, each element uh, is, uh, is speaking about the structure that he has in the mind. Yeah? Yeah. Because the way that they relate. So, so, right, get you, get you. So the structure, the space. What, what do you mean? The space is a holding space, right? Like you know, yeah. the, the holding the, space. The room, exactly. The room where they are, we are working. Yeah, that the structure, meaning the elements, and also the relationship between the elements. The relationship between the elements, exactly. Okay. And, and also uh, the, the elements, you know, he picks or he consider to to to. To look at right exactly it's very important which are the elements that he is considering uh, to be in the constellation to be in the picture we use uh, many times we use the word picture okay mm. uh, sometimes we say okay put uh, the element into the picture okay mm. so okay. we need Representatives. We need representatives. Yeah. Yeah. Uh huh. That could be people. Yeah. Or objects. Yeah. Okay. Got it. Yes. Now, when we are working with people, we have a very good phenomenon of the transverbal language. That is um, the representative perception. Yeah. And into the representative perception, we have the semantic reaction. Okay? Let's go slow, so, slowly. So the re repre represent re perception, meaning, you know, how, you know, the representative or, ob I mean, object, we don't know, right? But the representative, they can speak. Mm -hmm. So, of course, you know, they can share how they feel, but we don't trust him or we do? Yes, we trust them. Uh, well, for example, uh, if someone tells you, please represent, it, represent my chief or my boss, yeah. please represent my boss, okay? And... Mm -hmm. um, in the very moment when you are collocated into the picture, okay, uh, the host, he, we, we don't we don't call it uh, as a constellator. Later I will explain why. Um, the host asks you differences, okay? Differences when you were sit down when you when you were in in your life as a stare, and now that you are representative the boss of uh, Maria, yes. And uh, what are the differences uh, now that, that you are represented? The way you were put it in the in the picture, the way you were treated in the moment that uh, she touched you and put you into the image, and you say, "Okay, I am better because now I breathe better. I felt very good in my back. I am. I don't know why, but I am very happy. No." This is when you say better, no? Or sometimes you say worst, okay? So it's, it's very important in the structural constellations to ask for differences are not, not to ask uh, how do you feel, okay? Are the differences, not, yes. how do, not how do you feel. Yes, we never ask how do you feel, okay? Because uh, if you ask for how do you feel, it doesn't give so very good information. It's not so value information. It's not so. Uh, it's not uh, so important information because I don't know if you feel sad or if you feel some pain. Uh, well, it's, it's it's better. It's more useful for the client to know if the representative feels feels better, feels worse, feels uh, equal or different. Okay. So because okay. we can measure in every moment how we can uh, go on, okay? We're advancing, okay. yes? And so yeah. that's why it's very important 
just to make a question, differences if uh, the group is new, a uh, new group or the representative uh, is the first time that he is representing, uh, you just ask uh, differences, better, worst, um, equal or different. So there are but just four. Answer, like, okay. But if you answer, um, you know, the differences, better, worse, you know, which perspective you we are talking about, like only the like I stand up facing, for example, I facing my boss. I feel, oh, I'm so happy, you know. So what does it mean? So yeah, yeah. yeah. For example, the, the first question to the representative is differences, better, worst, equal or different yeah. than when you were sit down as uh, your own life. Now you say, okay, I am equal. Okay. Okay. It's okay. You're equal. Is it Okay. Uh, is it comfortable or uncomfortable? Well, it's, it's uh, comfortable. So he says equal and says comfortable. Uh, it's, it, it means that it's better. Okay. And we, con uh, and we continue asking each, uh, each element all the constellation. In, in okay. all, all time, we are asking again in every change of movements or angles or something that is said in every moment the representative perception is present. Representative perception is everything that the element feels that is not of the real person, it's just of the character that he is representing. Yeah. Yes, yeah. for example, if you say, well, now that I am representing the boss, now I have a headache. And when I was sit down as a sister, uh, I, I didn't have a headache, now I have a headache. Yes, and when you go out from the role, uh, from the paper, now you are again. You 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 don't feel the the headache now, because okay. that that so was. The headache is, so the, so that means if the headache is only like when the the person who represents you know the role. Yeah. The person. Yeah. Okay. Yes, because so it's, you just it's, identify you know is really you know herself or himself or really you know the perception you know when he is representing. Correct. Yes, because you are you are being a boss. For example, Maria calls you to represent uh, her boss, and now you feel worst, and you feel you say worst. I'm very very worst, and I, I, I don't I, I I don't know why I I have a headache. And now uh, the host can tell you, okay, get get out uh, for a moment from the roll. Uh -huh. Yes, just just make a, a little step to the left or to the uh -huh. right. Or just a step and so do it like this, and now get out yeah, from yeah. the get out from the roll. Now, how is it? No, I'm okay. Now, okay, please, uh, please try to uh, to feel lower, just uh, twenty or thirty percent of the representative perception. Okay, yeah. and says okay, yes. Yeah. Now, okay, so the information is there. Okay, and yeah. the semantic reaction is something that into the representative perception, but add all the changes of representative perception when one of the other uh, elements begin to do or to say or something that makes a reaction to the representative. Okay, for example, if I am representing the father, yes, and uh, my son says something or makes a little movement, or something that makes an impact uh, to me, uh, and I say, oh, now I feel uh, I, I feel like crying. I don't know why, but uh, the movement that he did uh, made me cry. So that's mm -hmm. a semantic reaction. Okay. Okay. So right. semantic reaction is the all the changes while the constellation is running. Okay. okay. That's why yeah. mm -hmm. all those are part of the transverbal language, okay? Yeah. Because we also use the body, okay? When we are working with people, okay? So, these are the, are the, the elements, and also one of the other elements of uh, structural constellation is the hypnotic language. Uh -huh. Yeah? Mm. 
um, the way that the host uh, speaks to the representatives and also to the client. Okay, when we yeah. use uh, some phrases, um, uh, some words that we say, some instructions that we do, some suggestions that we make to the client or to the elements are always in the hypnotic uh, language. Okay, yeah. that's another of the uh, principles of uh, uh, structural constellations. And also, we have the focus on solution to solution approach focus on solution yeah can't see it approach focus on solutions approach okay mm. yeah okay so mm. this does verbal language was used uh, by Virginia Satir. Mm. See? This is the influence or Virginia Satir. Yeah. And Jacob Levy Moreno. Okay? Mm. And, uh, but the name of transverbal language was uh, invented by Insa and Matthias. Okay? okay, they put the name of transverbal language because they use all this um, uh, list of things, uh, but uh, he thought, okay, this is a language, okay? That's okay. why we, we need a grammar, okay? okay? That's why, and here in the hypnotic language, we have uh, Milton Erickson. Yeah, this one, no. <laughs> yeah. Okay, and here focus on solutions. We have Steve the Chaser. Steve the Chaser and the wife that is Inso Kimber. Okay, that's the Milwaukee School. Okay, so okay. these are uh, three of the most important um, elements in the constellations, okay? So, may, may I ask, um, you know, transferable language, that means like the space, the structure, the speed. So when you say the speed, what, what, what do you mean? What I they mean, speak, what they, everything that they speak, everything, oh, okay. everything that they say. Okay. For example, if one element A say something, for example, uh, I, I love you so much, or thank you for everything that you gave me. So it's something that the element A say to the element B. So element B, when he, when element B uh, hears that uh, that uh, words uh, from the element A, uh, element B decides to walk towards him. So that's uh, transverbal language, and that's a semantic reaction. Okay. So the list of the list of elements we call the transferable language. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everything of here. Okay, is, called transferable. Yes, are, are the elements that uh, are the the elements that are into the transverbal language, that are the components of transverbal language. Understood. Yeah. Okay. 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 Yeah. So okay. that's why uh, they uh, have uh, different schemes. Uh, that uh, that they use, and from there it comes uh, from uh, uh, a little to be more, 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 more bigger, 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 and more information, more information. Yes, okay. So uh, yeah. that's why we have um, a very um, short uh, scheme. That is the goal approximation. Yes, we have a goal here. Yeah, and we have a focus mm. here. Okay, so we have a timeline. It's, mm. it's, it's, uh, it's a timeline here, and we have the focus, mm. and we have the goal. Okay, why we call 
the representative of client. Why we what why why do we call it as a focus and we don't call it as a as the client? Okay. What could be a good um, a good answer? I don't know if if you saw the video and if you read uh, the information. Why we call it as a focus and not uh, as the client? Uh, I don't know. Only I think that could be the the different focus because. The, uh, the client has an issue, so we focus. I don't know. It's just focus. You know the issue. Yeah. So the client is the issue. Yes, because, <laughs> because what we constellate, uh, we we constellate uh, context. We don't constellate systems. Okay, that's a difference uh, in the in the approach. Yeah, okay. context. Yeah. No. Yes. Context. So it's not that difference. I mean, so. The context meaning like the content, right? What's the issue, right? Yeah, exactly. The issue and all the situations that are around the issue. That's the context. Okay. Yeah? Because we need to okay. contextualize. So, so if we said it's, uh, we constellate a client issue, so we, we, we call it focus, right? But this is this is called the focus of the focus solution approach, correct? Yes, but this is a different. This is the f different connotation of the word, okay? Here, the focus is the constellation, is, is the representative of the client in the context of the topic that he, he, he has. For example, um, the client comes here, sits down, we are in a group, and um, the client, uh, I ask him, what is your issue? And the client says, well, I have a company, and now we want to buy another company. And I don't know uh, if this is a good moment to buy another company. Okay, that's the, that's the issue, okay? So we ask, okay, uh, if this constellation were a success, what could be a good, solu a, a good uh, result for you of this constellation, if this constellation were a success? And he could say, okay, uh, I would like to to take some uh, alternatives to or or tools or resources to have a better um, decision to have the best decision. Okay. Mm. Well, uh, please um, uh, please choose someone here of the group who could represent your represent yourself here in the uh, yeah. in the constellation. Okay, please, Peter, Peter, please come, Peter, and represent me here in this constellation. Okay, so in this moment, P uh, Peter uh, becomes the representative of the client. So that's why Peter now is, becomes as the focus. Yes, because he represents, Peter represents John in the context of the decision of uh, buying another company. He he doesn't represent. So the, focus, the, the focus is not is not the issue that. Um, so that means the client. I mean, basically, it's the client. There. Yes, it's it's a fragment, a piece of the client. It's not all the client. Yeah. Oh, it's a piece of the client. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Just the piece of the so client only, 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 or the only, context. Only the moment he on, only represent the piece of client, meaning that only in that. Um, contest, you know, he doesn't know what to do, is it? Exactly, yeah, be be because we, we are not representing all the client. We are not representing, let's suppose that my client name is John, okay? So Peter is representing just a little piece of John in the context of that problem. Not all, okay. not all the context uh, as a husband, as a citizen, as a father. No, just okay. in, in this context. That's why it's another difference uh, in, in this uh, approach, in these structural okay. constellations. It, because it's an hologram and we just take a little piece of the client, a little piece of, of uh, a little piece of the information just. Yeah, mm -hmm. okay. Not to forget what he said in the topic and the goal or, uh, or what he is asking, yes, or the, mm. the, the asking or the question that he has, and also the contract, okay? So when you, like for example, as, um, a, a, a client who picked like John or Peter as, 
as a as a focus. Do do you have to say anything? Just say, oh, this is the focus. That's it. Or no, we we, we say things. yes. We say, please, Peter, you you are representing. You are the focus of John because you are representing um, John the the information of John in the context of this situation. Okay. So we have to say that. Yes, we have to say that. Yes, okay. we 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 yes, explain. Because, oh, because you you speak Spanish, right? And also yeah. English. We share in English. And but the thing is, my mother tongue is in Cantonese. So I just thinking maybe the you know the thing is so different, right? Yeah. So when I use it. Yeah. So I mean, yeah. Okay. Yes. Oh. It's, so that's why it's it's very important that uh, he knows that because it's it's not so heavy. It's lighter because yeah. because if I know that I am representing uh, representing John, I know for example that John is a man of sixty years old, and I see that he is tired, and I saw that he has a a, a wife, and the wife is. Uh, a little angry with him and uh, I don't know maybe all the yeah, context because the yeah, yeah all everything so that's why in the other approach when they represent all the client is very heavy for the representative yeah. representing exactly. all the client yeah so yeah, it's, it's better it's, it's easier to work okay yeah. so now we have uh, the very uh, 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 the very minimum elements that we need are the host, the client, the focus, and the goal. Are just the minimum expression of a structural constellation. Okay. okay. Also, we need a topic. We the, we need the goal or the asking and the contract. Yes. Okay. So the minimum yeah. element that we need to begin a constellation or to begin to yeah. work. Okay. So maybe here this is the the constellation of a goal approximation. This is one of the constellations or one of the schemes that we have. Yes, this is the the easier constellation is the goal approximation because we just have focus and goal. So I can call uh, the focus and now please uh, focus. Tell me, uh, please uh, say where is the future. And where is the past? Okay. And focus says, okay, future is towards that, and it's like a curve here. And now we have the past here, and he can say, okay, the past is there. Okay. Now, please, John, you can um, get into the picture your goal. Okay. So maybe uh, he uh, he says, okay, uh, Hillary, please come to represent my goal. Okay, so um, uh, now uh, first the goal, the, the focus said the future is there. Logically, mm. we think logically that John is going to introduce the goal in the future. But sometimes client doesn't do that. <laughs> sometimes clients uh, get into the picture with the goal. About twenty percent of twenty percent of clients put the the goal in the past, so that means something, something that was not solved in the past. We need to work with that. So that means, are you saying that, for example, the focus and then we asked the, the goal, the goal they put in the future, or what, what do you mean? Sorry. Yeah. The yeah. Yeah. The focus first uh, when the focus is in the picture, you ask to the focus. Yeah. Please tell me where is the past, where, where is the future, and where is the past? Okay. okay. Because we assume that uh, the focus is put in the present always. It's one of the, of the axiomas. Uh, mm -hmm. So the focus always put the future in the present. This is what I mean. No, is that the, the client puts the focus always in the present. The place where the um, the client puts his focus, in this case, Peter. In this moment, when he puts in some, is present. Yeah, yeah, correct. Yeah, and then we okay. ask to the focus, please tell me where is the future, and where okay. is the past. Okay. Yeah. And so uh, John already listened, where and saw in which direction is the goal. Future. Yeah. Oh, the goal. The goal. 
uh, well, well, the, the future, yeah. And maybe uh, the client decides to put uh, the goal, for example, Hillary, please be my goal. And he, with his hands, puts the goal uh, in the future. But sometimes there are some clients that doesn't do that. Maybe they put okay. in the past. And there is a protocol okay. to do when they do that. Okay. So we need to okay. work more. It is, it, it is more difficult for the host to proceed yeah. when the client does that. So in the yeah. very beginning of the training, uh, it's better that the goals could be in the future to learn how, what, what yeah. to do. Okay. So now uh, we can ask the client if uh, he uh, sees or knows or maybe there is an obstacle. He, if, if the obstacle. client... Obstacle, yes. And maybe the client could <laughs> say, no, there is not an obstacle. Oh, phew, okay. Because we don't need an yeah. obstacle. But if the client yeah. says, yes, there is an obstacle. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Do you know which is the obstacle? No, I don't know. But I feel that there is an obstacle. Okay. okay. Please say someone to be yeah. the obstacle. Yes, yeah. and it uh, says, okay, um, Henry, uh, Henry, please be my obstacle. Okay, mm -hmm. so logically, the obstacle is here between yeah. the focus and the goal. But sometimes yeah. all, there are people who put the obstacle in the past. So technically, it's not an obstacle, <laughs> you know? Yeah, exactly. Yes, and so maybe... It could be the history or something. Yeah, someone. Like like yeah, yeah. It, it could be uh, another context in the past that maybe was an obstacle, but already is not an obstacle. Was an obstacle, but now he didn't realize that that obstacle doesn't exist anymore. Okay. okay. But maybe there is a really obstacle. Yes. Okay. So we need to work with that uh, with that obstacle. Okay. Because. Uh, Sometimes, uh, as, as constellations are multi multidimensional, okay, because uh, sometimes uh, a goal that I already reached in the past maybe is um, now uh, is a resource for me. For example, yeah. For example, when I was younger, I had a goal that I was uh, learning uh, learning Italian, okay. So I learned Italian when I was uh, about uh, 15 years ago, I learned Italian, okay? So it was a goal because I, now I speak Italian, okay? But uh, five years ago, I wanted to learn uh, Portuguese because I, I began to work in Brazil. So I have a lot of work in Brazil. So and now I had another, another goal was to learn Portuguese, okay? So when I began to speak Portuguese, uh, I was very confused between Italian, Spanish, and Portuguese because they have the same yeah. root. <laughs> okay, yeah. so I had to forget. I had to forget the Italian. Okay, mm. I, I had to to force my brain to forget uh, and to have it in a box all the yeah. grammar and words and verbs of Italian. Okay, so. Uh, it was a goal. Then it, it was a success because uh, it was a it was a, a desired state. Yes, and so I speak I, I spoke Italian. Then Italian was not anymore a resource for that context of Portuguese. So it was an obstacle. Yeah. Okay. So a goal a goal that become became a resource could in another context be an obstacle. Okay. Okay. Got so, it. goal, resource, and obstacle are made of the same material. It depends on yeah, the context. I think that depends how you look at the the. I mean, the same thing, but a different perspective. Then. Yeah. Exactly. Different percept yeah. perspectives, different contexts, different times, different needs. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. So, okay. for example, in my case, it was very clear when, when, when I had to say to my Italian language, please wait uh, later, I will call you later, because now I don't need you so much, because I don't have uh, a lot of working in Italian. But yeah. now, 
I, I, but now I have a client from Italy. Last week, I was called by an Italian. So I say, okay, I have to study again Italian. So this is a, 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 another challenge for me. Okay? Yeah. So I have to make them to be, uh, to live together, the Italian and Portuguese, to live together as good friends. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes it, it yeah. happens. So uh, it's a reflection between obstacle could be a resource. Obstacle yeah. could be also that was very useful for you in the past and now it's not so useful. Right. That's why it becomes an, an obstacle. So we have to to give a good place of the obstacle in your heart, in your mind, in your past, in your history, yeah. or something that you you maybe you have a gestalt, no, uh, maybe something that is pendant to be closed. Sometimes we need to, to close some relationship or something that could be solved. Okay? Yeah. Then, it, uh, this line uh, uh, had a, an evolution to another... This is a, another uh, scheme. Okay? Mm. That this is the uh, 9 and 12... Uh, 9 and 12 um, squares, 9 and 12 squares, okay? Yeah. Because this is a timeline too, yes? Okay. Because we have past, present, future, and distant okay. future. Okay. Yeah? And we have the internal context and the external context, okay? okay? So, the focus is always in the present, but the focus yeah. has a past, has a future, and a distant future. Okay? Yeah. So, this, this is scheme of uh, approximation, um, yeah. the goal approximation became first the nine square scheme, and some years later became the 12 scheme. I can have a read then. Ah, yes! I have it. So, so that's why, you know, when you mention a 12, then I can have a go that I have a read that will be helpful then, I guess. Exactly. Yes, because we have the internal the internal uh, context and the external context. Yeah. Okay? Good. Yeah. Um, just let me go back to um, the, the note you gave me and then I think there's a superposition of a contest, is it? Do you yes. mean the, con the superposition means the overlap, is it? It's context overlap, exactly. Okay. Yes. So like, for example, like some people, they have a mother, uh, I mean, herself, and also the mother, everything's just mixed together, is it? Or yeah. Is it? This is what? Exactly. Position, right? Yes, because maybe uh, I have a context overlap with my mother, but uh, maybe that context overlap could be positive or negative for this okay. for this goal. No, for example, um, if I have an uncle, my, my uncle was very uh, uh, very intelligent, very smart, and uh, he gave me very good advices. And uh, okay. he is an example for me, and I have a good uh, context overlap for him from him that helps me as a resource. Okay. To reach a goal, but maybe yeah. uh, I have some beliefs or some models of learning that it could be not positive for me for this goal. Maybe that's a context overlap that we have to dissolve. Okay. Okay. So the definition yeah. of context overlap is not always negative. Sometimes there are okay. some context overlap that are positive. So um, that's why we have to ask the focus. You have to ask to the client. When you reach this goal, who would you be less similar? What does it mean, less, less similar? Less similar. For example, this is, the, this is a very important question. Uh, yeah. Almost in all the, the structural constellations, we need to ask the client because uh, that's uh, just a preformation that maybe there is a context overlap with someone, that's why he doesn't reach that goal. So, 
less similar. Meaning, if if you cannot reach the goal, so no. If, if when when you reach the goal, who would you be less similar? Less similar meaning not like, right? Not, not like exactly. exactly. Not like. I mean, not like. Yeah. Less so like. yes, less like. Yes, yeah, yes, less like. Yes. For example, I want to buy a new house. Okay, maybe my parents didn't buy never a house. They always rent. Yeah. Yes. So when you uh, in the future, when when you uh, finally buy a house, who would you be less similar to? Oh, to my parents. Yes. So okay. that's maybe uh, this is a hypothesis that maybe there is a context overlap or a context overlap. What kind of context overlap is like a loyalty? One of the kinds of loyalty. A lo yeah, loyalty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Because some, sometimes because I love them, I don't want to be better than them. That's why I don't buy a house because I don't want okay. to be better than them. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, maybe I have, we have to close. Uh, the session? Yeah, yeah. yeah. But, well, excellent. I, I like that, you know. Really? I mean, this is, yeah, I really like it. I, I know. But the thing is, it's just, I, I'm so holistic, you know. I learned this and yeah. also learned this. Yeah. So, I mean, more, you know, complete, I think. Yeah. So, it's really, you know, I'm so blessed, you know, I know you guys, you know. Mm -hmm. But the thing is, you, you know more, right? Different mm -hmm. teachers, you know, very good teacher, you know, in the past or something. So anyway, mm -hmm. but I'm so lucky to meet you, you know, oh. in Slovenia. And then, yes. And eventually it works. And also, I because the good thing is I can speak to you, mm -hmm. even though the long, I mean, so long, right? They're mm -hmm. quite far away. But still, you know, I learn a lot, you know, through, you know, the, the video.